Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another example of how we integrate working with line segments and algebra together. Here what we have, we have a line segment from A to point C to point B. You can see that the line segment is intersected by the line L at the midpoint, we call that the point C, and this indicates that those two line segments from A to C and from C to B must be equal in length. We've also been indicated that the line segment from A to C is equal to 5x minus 7, and the line segment from C to B is equal to 14 minus 2x. And from that, we're supposed to determine the length from A to B. So first what we're going to do is take advantage of knowing that if these two line segments have equal length, that 5x minus 7 must equal to 14 minus 2x. We use that to find the value of x, and then we find, use that to find the length from A to B. So since the line segment from A to C, or the length AC, is equal to the length CB, we can then claim that 5x minus 7 must equal 14 minus 2x. So now we're going to move all the x's to one side, everything else to the right side. So 5x minus 2x, that becomes 5x plus 2x, when we move the 2x over here, is equal to 14 plus 7, because the negative 7 becomes a plus 7, when we move it to the other side of the equal sign. So now we end up with 7x is equal to 21, divide both sides by 7, and we can see that x is equal to 3. Once we have the value for x being equal to 3, we can now figure out the distance from a to c. So a to c, the length, is equal to 5x minus 7. Since x is equal to 3, we can write 5 times 3 minus 7, which is equal to 15 minus 7, which is equal to 8. So the length from a to c is equal to 8. The two should be equal to each other. That means the length from c to b must also equal 8. So from c to b is also equal to 8. And we can check that really quick, because if x is equal to 3, then we can write c to b is equal to 14 minus 2x. And then we plug in the value for x in here and see what we get. That's equal to 14 minus 2 times 3, or 14 minus 6, which indeed, as we suspected, is equal to 8. So then we can say that the distance from A to B is simply the sum from A to C plus C to B, which is equal to 8 plus 8, or 16, and that would be the total length for the line segment from A to B. And that's how it's done.